She's a student taking a business course, and she has two brothers and nine sisters. My, that's a big family. Yes, it is. Is it fun uh, having so many brothers and sisters? It's really it to make a difference. I mean, it's just like a small family, I think. Uh, how can it be like a small family when there's so many of you? Well, everybody goes on their own way. They just come back during lunch, dinner, uh, and breakfast. You're just there at mealtime? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Gloria. Our interview is planned. Here you are on television with this big audience. Let's see, can you name your nine brothers and oh, two yes. sisters, or nine sisters and two brothers? Alphabetically, or um, according to rank? I think all mixed up. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, oh, Joselito, Fenty, Ramon, Ruby, Patsy, Coroy, Lori, George, uh, Aurora, Didi, Georgie, Benji, Leo. Very good, but when you get home, apologize to Aurora, won't you? You missed that one for a moment. Thank you, Miss Philippine. <laughs> Miss Philippine. Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's from Panache. She's 18 years old. She has black hair, black eyes. She's five feet five inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. Miss Israel. Or Miss Philippines. <laughs> One last place to be filled, and that's Miss Philippines. Step right up here. Right up here? And you speak English well, I know that. Miss Philippines, in the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? Oh, uh, just the same things I do. I think if he's been in the moon for so long, I think when he comes over, he wants to change, I guess. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Miss Philippines. Here you go. And the other will be the first runner-up. Now, the position of first runner-up is very important because if Miss Universe cannot serve her obligation, the first runner-up takes over the title. The first runner-up is Miss Finland, Miss Philippines, is Miss Universe of 1969. Congratulations, Miss Philippines. My thing is to step in. Put your arm right back here. Hold it up. Here's the badge that you'll be wearing for the next year. Miss Universe 1969. And Miss Philippines, now Miss Universe. And what would you like to do, Margarita? Later? Yes, as a job. Uh, I'd like to be a banker. A banker? Why a banker? Well, uh, first, I'd like to follow my father's footsteps because he's a banker. And uh, besides that, I'm taking up a course in business administration, which is courses in uh, banking and finance. And I like counting money. You like counting money? What would you do with the $10,000 if you went in the Miss Universe badge? Uh, I'd invest it. Um, probably I'd build up a hotel. A hotel? Yes, and I'll run a business and my sister will manage it because she's taking up business at, uh, hotel management in school. You know, I think I've made a discovery. This girl could be the Onassis of the Philippines before she's through. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Yes. Miss Philippines. Maria Margarita Moran. She has dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. Five feet, six inches tall and weighs 116 pounds. 19 years old. Philippines. The second girl is a girl who's been one of your favorites all evening long. She is Miss Philippines.
This is the remaining question. This question is for you. Your question is, let's make believe that all of a sudden, this is a perfect question for her. Let's make believe that all of a sudden you had a million dollars. What's the first thing you would buy and why would you buy it? A house and lot. Because it's the most expensive thing and I can't afford it. So if I had a million bucks, I'll buy a house and lot and live by myself <laughs> and other people, of course. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Can you step down here, please, Miss Philippines? Now, one of you will become Miss Universe of 1973. The other is the first runner-up. And the position of first runner-up is very important because if, for any reason, Miss Universe could not fulfill her responsibilities, the first runner-up would be Miss Universe. Now, girls, the first runner-up is Miss USA. Miss Philippines is Miss Universe. <laughs> in the Philippines about the United States reopening a military base in your country. Do you think the United States should have a military presence in your country? I think that the United States and the Philippines has, has always had a good relationship with each other. We were colonized by the Americans and we, are, we have their culture in our traditions even up to this day. And I think that we're very welcoming with the Americans and I don't see any problem with that at all. And I can't help one of you Please take the headphones off for Philippines Please step to the mic Here we are Why should you be the next Miss Universe? To be a Miss Universe is both an honor and a responsibility. If I were to be Miss Universe, I will use my voice to influence the youth and I would raise awareness to certain causes like HIV awareness that is timely and relevant to my country, which is the Philippines. I want to show the world, the universe rather, that I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Thank you. I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Thank you. Miss. Universe 2015 is Philippines.
Philippines is a former martial artist who earned her black belt at 12 years old, now 24. This fashion model and singer has raised funds for various charities through benefit concert held in her country and abroad, Philippines. Philippines proudly raised funds to purchase and renovate an old apartment building in Manila. This 24-year-old turned the building into the Young Focus Child Care Plus Center, a school offering free education to children. Philippines! Philippines! The second semi-finalist from Africa and Asia Pacific. Philippines! <laughs> How are you? Steve, I bet you're happy to see me. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm happy. The Philippines loves me. Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million. Thank you, Philippines. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life, and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me, and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka! Still in the running is... Philippines! It just was fulfilling in a way that everything else wasn't. My mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along to music. I'm an only child, very, very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always say the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and it's so high up, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it as just one step at a time, one day you're going to look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. So that's a piece of advice from my dad that I feel I'm going to apply in my whole life. <laughs> Universe crown is Philippines. <laughs> Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life 
and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad. And I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. to stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. universe is Philippines! Universe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe.